Hello and welcome to another edition of the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me Craig Barton. Now one of the things I've been trying to do over this, this current series of Resource of the Week is to really dip into the expertise of the primary authors on TES. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but I, I tend to, if I see kind of key stage two or key stage one in the title of a resource, I think to myself, well, that's not going to be appropriate for me as a secondary school maths teacher. But of course, as I've increasingly found over my career, the more I know about the math students do at primary school, the better informed I am, and therefore the better able I am to teach my year seven and eight. But more so... Just the more I learn about primary, the more I'm just blown away by the, the, the complexity of the maths that the kids do and the wonderful range of resources that are available. So it would seem stupid for me not to investigate this a little bit further. So when I stumbled across this resource, Practical Maths Ideas, I thought to myself, right, let's check this out. And I'll tell you what, I'm flipping glad I did because it is wonderful. So it consists of a single PDF. And the PDF looks like this. Now... There are a few things I really, really like about this resource. So if we see here, area of maths, number and place value. Um, what I, I love the way it's laid out because what this shows me is it shows me a progression. It shows me the kind of maths kids are doing in key stage one, then in lower key stage two, and then in upper key stage two. So that's useful just for, for any kind of math, secondary school maths teacher, just to know this progression, know this flow through maths. Because it means that when my students arrive in year seven um, and even in year eight, I've got a bit of a, a, a better feel for their background when it comes to this. And I should say it's not just number and place value. As we go through, we get addition and so on. So we're getting this flow all the time. So that's wonderful. But then perhaps better than that is the flipping resources and ideas. So the whole kind of rationale behind this, uh, behind this resource is teaching maths without worksheets. Now, I'm a fan of worksheets. I'm also a fan of fluency. I'm a fan of drills done in the right way, as I've talked about in the past on these Resource of the Week videos. But I'm also a fan of doing maths a bit differently wherever possible. And I'm always on the lookout for ideas that don't feel kind of shoehorned in, but actually have some validity. And this is full of them. So some really, really, really nice ideas for teaching these basics of maths. Now, I'm going to make a confession here. I'm flipping I'm pretty rubbish when it comes to teaching the basics. I, I couldn't even imagine how to teach students who couldn't add single digit numbers or things like that. But this kind of goes, uh, but of course, as secondary school teachers, especially if I'm given a, we set in our school, if I'm given a bottom set year seven of, or a bottom set year eight, or even students in the middle and top sets, I often discover kind of deficiencies when it comes to number, place, value, number bonds, times tables, uh, mental uh, addition and subtraction facts and so on. And I struggle, I really struggle to come up with ideas to, to engage students with that, to, to get them to have that conceptual understanding that they need. But now I've got a resource that I can just dip into. And if I've got a student who's struggling with addition, I can dip into this and think, actually, yeah, that, that might be a way to, to look at it in a different context that may just make sense to the student. So it's absolutely fantastic for that. But the range of resources that it links to, as well as the ideas, are phenomenal. So Enrich, I'm obviously a huge fan of the Enrich website, but sometimes it's difficult to, to find resources pitched at the level that I need, but not with this resource here, because now I've got links that just take me straight to those activities, and I know that they've been handpicked and chosen, so they're going to be relevant to students. So these are just wonderful. As we go through, we now get into fractions resources. So it's just brilliant. If I'm teaching fractions in my year seven, firstly, I can look back and think, what's the history of fractions? How, what, what experience have my students had with fractions building up to this lesson? That's useful for one. But secondly, let, let me nick some of these ideas for introducing some of the key concepts of equivalence and so on and um, myself. So it's absolutely fantastic for that. But it's not just year seven and year eight uh, classes and bottom sets that I'm going to use this with. I'm going to be dipping in and using this with my year nines, year tens and year elevens because these are all fundamental skills that students have. And if you're reading some of these as I'm clicking a clicking along a uh, measure for example or if we just go back up here statistics these are things that i'm teaching to year 10s and year 11s and if they're struggling with them well let me dip on dip in here and let me see if i can find a different way of approaching it that may just be more beneficial so for a range of ideas for covering key topics this is one of the best resources i've ever seen on this It's absolutely phenomenal and this is going right in the bank of my top resources that i've, I've reviewed on test because i just think for the range of ideas in a single resource and the usefulness it's got, not just in informing me of my kids' mathematical history up to the point I teach them, 
but more importantly, given me a range of ideas for something that I particularly struggle on. This is just absolutely phenomenal. So if you enjoy it too, hop back onto here. Let's get this download number up. That is not enough for a resource as good as this. Let's get these ratings up as well. Let's share share a bit of love. Just thank the author for, for, for producing something like this. And yeah, I just thought it was wonderful. So hope you find that useful. And I shall return with a fresh resource of the week in the near future. Take care. Bye for now.